Hi and good morning everyone. So today is a very special and exciting day because in just a few hours at 12 pm to be exact, I'm going to sit down to code for the next 12 hours. According to Parkinson's law, the longer time you have to do something, the longer it will take to finish. For example, if you have a week to complete a project that could be done in two days, you likely stretch it out and take the whole week to finish it. So the more time you have, the more you might add or procrastinate. This is exactly what has been happening to me recently. I have a few pending coding tasks that I've been procrastinating for the past few weeks, but hopefully all of this will change in the next 12 hours. And oh, by the way, my friend Shania is going to be joining me remotely on this challenge, so say hi. So we have decided to divide this challenge into four parts each of four hours with an hour of break in between for eating, stretching, walking and basically whatever we want to do. And to match with this, I have also created four goals to finish in each portion of the challenge or as I like to call them, my mini challenges. First, I'm going to start with the build your own Git challenge. I've already done five out of the seven stages and I've documented my process in these two YouTube videos if you want to check them out. It's 4 p.m. now, which means it's lunchtime. For the second mini challenge, I wanted to go back to a personal project that I had created last year, but it had stopped working for some reason after a few months, so I just wanted to go back to it and figure out what's wrong. All right, so the challenge is finally over. It ended at about 2 a.m. that day. It's not too bad because I usually stay awake till very late at night. But anyways, it's time for some self-evaluation to see how well or how badly the challenge actually went. Starting with the first mini challenge, which was to complete the build your own Git challenge on Code Crafters. As I previously mentioned, I had already completed five out of the seven stages and only two stages were left for me to complete that day. Now, the sixth challenge was quite straightforward. In fact, I feel like it was easier than the previous stages as well. In this stage, you need to implement the commit git object. It was simple, but I still ended up wasting about an hour on a missing new line inside of my object file. So there's that after completing that stage, I 
started the final stage. So I had heard that the last stage of this challenge is quite difficult, but I did not know how difficult exactly it was. In fact, they have explicitly mentioned inside of the stage itself that it is supposedly one of the hardest challenges on their entire platform. In one of the comments on that stage, someone mentioned that it is going to take at least a few days to complete it. So as you might have guessed, I was not able to complete the final stage that day. Just to tell you a little bit about what the final stage was, it was to implement the cloning feature in Git inside of your own version. After that day ended, I have not been able to get back to it, but if I do, I will let you know. And you can also try it out yourself. I have left a link to it in the description box below. So if I had to grade my performance in the first mini challenge, I think I'm going to give myself a B because a lot of time was wasted in a very simple bug. Now moving on to mini challenge number two, I wanted to revive my old project that I built last year. Make sure it was working fine because something happened over, I don't know, the months I did not touch it, it just stopped working. Let me tell you a little bit about what the project was about. About an year back when there was a lot of hype about AI, especially generative AI in the art space, Adobe came up with their Firefly text effects. I wanted to see if you could implement something similar to it using stable diffusion which is an open source model for generative art. So I made use of an existing API and built a React dashboard on top of it. It took a lot of time to figure out what the entire process is going to look like in order to generate those text effects. At the time last year, I was quite happy with the results that I was able to achieve. But when I tried my app again this year, it was not working. The results were very poor. I do not remember the exact process, the exact settings, the exact configuration that I used previously. But after a lot of trial and error, I got to a point where I was satisfied, but it still wasn't as good as the results I was able to achieve previously. I actually ended up spending more hours in the past week to make it work, but finally it's working. The goal was to complete my pending projects. So that's why if I had to grade myself on this mini challenge, I'm going to give myself an A. Now coming back to the last mini challenge, which was to practice Rust. Here I did not create any concrete goals as to how much of a practice I was supposed to do. And by this time I was already quite tired. My brain was not working as efficiently as compared to the beginning of the day. So I just ended up doing a few coding exercises from exorcism.org. So they have a Rust track and they have around 100 challenges in the Rust track. I was super tired, so I just decided to do the easy challenges from all the available challenges. These challenges, I would say, are more close to the challenges on Leet Code. They are more about problem solving as compared to like creating projects or having practical implementations of things, but still quite handy if you want to just practice your syntax in a newly learned language or just practice the foundations of a newly learned language. In those four hours, I was able to do only 14 exercises. I don't know if they are more, I don't know if they are less. That's what I was able to do. I was also super distracted by the end of this challenge. But nevertheless, I made some progress. So if I had to grade myself on the last mini challenge, I would again give myself a B. So that is all for this video. I think it was a great productivity boost for me. I would highly recommend you to try it out yourself with your friends as well, because it's just more fun to do with other people. That's all for now. I'll see you guys in the next one.